call me your order to please rise to pledge the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, I guess when we start, before we start the meeting, uh, whether you're aware or not, but our old supervisor, was supervisor for many years, passed away. So, I think it would Karen be Holt. Karen Holt. And it would be reasonable to have a short moment of silence for Karen before we start the meeting. And our condolences certainly go out to Karen's family. Yeah. So. That was a nice moment of silence. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. Next item, item is approval of the agenda. Does anyone have anything they'd like to add or alter on the agenda? Yeah, under correspondence, I want to address the board on the, um, the wind energy um, seminar I went to there that the county was putting on. I just you want to add that under correspondence? Yeah, co correspondence. So it'd be C? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's be, the title? Um, Wind Energy. Wind Energy. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Anyone else have anything they'd like to add or alter on the agenda? Then we need a motion. Motion to approve the agenda as submitted um, with the uh, uh, addition of Wind Energy I'll seminar. I'll support. Moved and supported to approve the agenda as amended. Any discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstaining? Motion carried. <coughs> the next uh, item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from the April 11th meeting. Who supported the statement? I make a motion that the minutes be approved as presented. I'll support that. Moved and supported to approve the minutes as presented for the April 11th meeting. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. The next item is the financial report. We began the month with $311,064.92. We took in receipts of $6,608.56 and made disbursements of $120,755.63, leaving us with an ending balance in the general fund of $196,917.85, noting that $100,000 was transferred from the general fund to our interest fund. I would like to make a motion to approve the financial report as submitted. Support. Moved and supported to approve the financial report as submitted. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Motion carries. Moving on, item A, Council on Aging. Every year these folks make a request uh, and they do a great job. They help a lot of people that really need help. Uh, they do get some millage money. Certainly it doesn't cover all their expenses, but they are subsidized by millage of everyone in the county. And as I mentioned in the update that, you know, past practices, we do not take money out of the general fund for this. But we certainly uh, support them otherwise. And we're very grateful for, that, for the job they do. Does anybody give them any money that you know of? Oh, yeah, we have fundraisers all the time. Yeah. They get no, donations. No, I mean, I yes, mean. East China does, I'm sure. I mean, East China. Okay. What, what are some of their um, 
things they do. Down they have classes. They have um, daily or weekly classes um, for yoga and spinning and exercise classes and um, the I think the ladies gather to make quilts. They have uh, social hours, social dancing, and things like that. Um, kind of, it's mostly they're associated with meals on wheels, and they also and help people. Yeah, and they help people with their taxes at tax time. And they transport mm -hmm. elderly people to medical facilities. I see. Out yeah. this way. Yeah, There's I was. I wasn't. Um, it wasn't in Casco, it's in a neighboring township, but they wanted to know about Meals on Wheels. And I said, we'll call it Township Hall. Yeah. 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 I used to see them go by every day, but I don't know if they changed the route or not. I don't see them. I used to go down the road every day at a certain time. Hmm. Okay. If there's nothing else, we'll move on to item B. We received a communication from Senator Pavlov. And basically, he is requesting we approve this resolution that deals with the uh, nuclear waste repository uh, that's uh, proposed in Ontario. Uh, we did this three years ago, and if you kind of read the papers and stuff, uh, I don't think Canada is really too worried about what we think on this side of the border. They're doing their own thing. They're having problems with it because otherwise they would have passed it. Every time it gets right on the air, verge of passing it, they find another reason to delay it. It's not popular there either. I don't know if it's, I think it's going to go through, but uh, unless you guys really want to do this resolution, we can do it in June. I don't believe it's going to sway anything. Uh, when they had the public hearings that time, they wouldn't even let, I believe, uh, some of the, our representatives speak over there. So, it is kind of what it is. Okay, hearing nothing, we'll move on to item C, which oh. is, uh, what? Oh, I thought Joe was going to say. No. No. Okay, we'll move on to item C, uh, wind energy. Yeah, on April 24th, um, Detroit Edison, they had an informational meeting on wind turbine farms. And there's been some, if you've been hearing, reading the time <coughs> of the that, there's been some interest in them coming into St. Clair County. Now you find them up in Sanlac and Huron and Cass County, Tuscaloosa, those ones up in the thumb. There, there's quite a few of them. Not just DTE, but there's some other wind energy firms. And basically, they, Detroit Edison said there's a big matrix. When they determine where to place those, it's a big matrix. First of all, our wind corridors. Um, up in the thumb, there's really good wind corridors through there. The second one is they like to um, go after large parcels of land that's under one owner. When you deal with just a single owner when you place it, it's just much easier legalese and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, they like to, and then they have setbacks, setbacks from houses, setbacks from roads, um, from streams, from any power, I mean, power lines that are not hooked to it. And when you get, they were using a township up in Huron County, you have this township, it was about the size of Castle, 36 square miles, and you think, and it's wide open, flat farmland up there, for the most part, not all of it. But when you get down, after they tick the, this matrix of where they're going to put it, there's very small areas that actually what makes it viable. In St. Clair County, the area, the townships they have identified as all of Greenwood, and the town, slices of the township right around it would be Brockway, Kenoki, Clyde, and uh, <coughs> um, not Clay Township, one of those other ones up there. Mm -hmm. So. Down here in the southern part, the wind corridors aren't good. There's too many houses. I mean, you hear about their, um, you know, their criteria. A property is divided up, subdivided up into smaller parcels. So for them, Detroit Edison, this is not a feasible area. I told them about our solar farm, we were approached, because the DTE also has a solar farm along 96, headed to Flint, if you ever see it, it's on the north side of the road. And I told them about our big concerns was if they ever seize operation, they would have to remove equipment. And they have that thing like we put in our ordinance for the windmills. And what they do, 
these windmills DTE put in, they have, their foundations are only 15 feet deep, but they go out about 50 feet wide. They call it the wide, um, the big foot um, footprint on the uh, mm -hmm. foundation. And if they seize operation, they would shave that down about five or six feet and put topsoil on top of it. I'm sure you have a big concrete pad underneath the ground right. with five feet of dirt on it? Yeah. That doesn't seem sensible. Well, most of them, mind you, are out in agricultural property. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to do any future development, of course, that's almost... Yeah. And I ask about, someone approached me after the meeting. He says those solar farms, you know, I thought they would put, you know, cement pilings in. He says, no. He goes, now they're just more or less like a fence post. They drive them into the ground. They hold these solar panels up. If they seize operation, they just pull them right out of the ground. Hmm. So, I mean, windmills are unlikely in Casco. Solar farm, well, we got approached already. So, I mean, that's theoretically more possible. Mm -hmm. But it seems like from what they, this one individual told me, this one engineer, it's far less likely the impact, if it has to move, um, would be that great. At least what the process he described. So seems to me more sense up in the green with the open. Right. Now, right across, right across the St. Clair River, if you take the ferry from St. Clair to Sambra and then head up towards the Blue Water Bridge, there's a huge um, windmill farm there. But as you say, it's all on agricultural property. There's no houses around, mm -hmm. maybe one farmhouse here and one farmhouse there, but it's a large log, a long stretch right across the river from us, but no the, trees, the, no houses. The only advantages Casco would have is them connecting into energy lines. We're equipped yeah. for that. That would be the only advantage. There was, that was one of the other big factors. I, I guess up through the thumb, I didn't realize this, they have a big, it's like a big loop of power lines. Mm -hmm. And they said that's um, back, that was developed back in the time when they thought Detroit area was going to grow, it's going to be bigger than LA. You know, <laughs> yeah, it was going to flow from south of Toledo north up to Lexington and far west, and it never happened. But Detroit Edison planned for all this infrastructure, and they're like, have this overcapacity that's not being yeah. used. Mm -hmm. that, so. But yeah, it was really interesting. But I, from what they described, I, I sincerely We're not a contender. yeah, I don't think we'll have wind turbines here in Casco Township. <laughs> so, and there were two elections up in the thumb last week in communities that have all kinds of them. In both communities, the people said no more. Um, to the women. Yeah, they have to well, talk about the prettiest looking things on the field. And, and, the, and the, the people that couldn't get them on their property. Because yeah. you can only go so far to the lake up there. Yeah. And those are, those are the people that, most of the people that were complaining were the people that couldn't get them on their property. Yeah. And yeah. it's, I mean, this yeah. matrix, and I just described a small part of it. They talk about the flicker because a couple days a year, if you're living near it, you'll get the flicker of the sunshine through the, the rotating oh, turbine blades. Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's, huh? yeah, it's complicated business. Huh? Never a lot. Not an unintended consequence. Yeah, mm -hmm. there always is. And then the EPA finds them every year for killing birds. So, <laughs> what are you going to do? But they can Why do it if they pay the money. Yeah, but it, it, it was a very, it was incredibly very interesting um, Information. Okay. Thank you, Joe. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Moving on. No old business. We're under new business item A. Parking lot bids. Uh, I sought out, received two bids for paving the north parking lot. Uh, the one bid was from Hess Asphalt Paving for ninety-one hundred and five dollars, and the other one was from Jelch Paving for eleven thousand uh, dollars. I would recommend we go with Hess. They do a lot of work for the county. Uh, they're recommended by the, our ex uh, road commission foreman. He said he should do a good job. Plus, they're you know almost two thousand dollars plus money. Okay. Uh, I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Well, you know the only other option was for a hundred bucks they'll pay the other lot or strike the other lot. Yeah. I don't know if you want to do that or not. It's up for a hundred dollars. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. 
All right. Okay. Good. Okay. Just as an appearance issue, it's worth it. Yeah. I make a motion to um, accept the bid of Hess Asphalt and Paving Company um, to redo the parking lot for for um, an amount of nine thousand one hundred five dollars and an extra hundred dollars to strike the south parking lot. That's supporting the motion. Okay. We've been supported. To accept the bid from Hess Asphalt for the amount indicated. I guess my only question is, is they, they did ask me, do you want white or yellow lines? Because they're going to ask me again. Yellow. Yeah, really? I think yellow would be fine too. Well, yellow? Yeah. Makes no difference between yeah. the lines. Well, you go, you go yellow so the white don't mix with the snow. Yeah, that's a good point. There Unless you, you have dogs running around and peeing. Well, <laughs> <laughs> then it's yellow anyway. Right. If it's snow covered, you're not going to see the line anyway. Okay. <laughs> Uh, is there any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll have a roll call vote, please. Uh, okay. Colleen. Yes. Bill. All right. Pat, yes. Joe. Yes. And Nate. Yes. Motion carries. Moving on, item B, resolution 2017-06, which is uh, an approval or adoption of Ordinance 56 which is an opt-out of the county ORB ordinance. That's kind of simple. If you got any questions, we'd be glad to feel them. But, uh, so if that's the way you want to go, then we need a motion to adopt resolution 217.06. I make a motion to adopt Casco Township Resolution 2017-06. Resolution to adopt Ordinance 56 to regulate the operation of off-road vehicles on the roads of Casco Township. Support. Okay, we've been supported. Is there any discussion? Yeah, I mean, so we just saw residents of this problem, just call the sheriff. <laughs> yep, and I don't, you know, if people behave, I don't think anybody's going to bother them anyway. No. But at least gives you some. I see them all on the roads anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So. Any other discussion? Okay. Hearing none, we have a roll call vote, please. Roll call. All right, Dan. Yes. Joe. Yes. Pat. Yes. Still. All right. And Colin. Yes. Motion carries. Moving on. Payment of the bills. Are there any questions? Bills? No, I'm going to make a motion. We pay the bills um, for uh, this one. Support. Moved and supported to pay the bills. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, I roll call vote, please. No. Colleen, yes. Bill. Aye. Pat, yes. Joe. Yes. And Yes. Okay, citizens' so comments. Activity out there from the citizens? <laughs> no, not this way. No. Wayne, do you have anything? Nothing. Um, I have something here. Um, right here, this is from St. Clair County Community Mental Health. This is their 2017 informational poster telling them, telling people um, where they can get help for mental health uh, activities. They do a lot of good stuff, and in recent years. <laughs> Recent years, the, the focus on mental health is getting greater. Where there's a lot, a lot of good people before who suffered, who could have got a lot of help, and their services up at the county. Um, somewhat what's neat about this poster, um, the designer of it is a young Miss Jessica Ryan. She's a 12th grader at St. Clair High School. Oh. And happened to be my niece. Oh, really? So she oh, oh, and so nice. was given to me to bring to the township hall here. To be placed here. Oh, yeah. in the this is awesome. That's okay. Nice. Thanks. Good. Thanks. Okay. Anybody else have anything? Oh yeah. One thing I saw Lee Masters when I was up there for here, um, enjoying retired life, and <laughs> I let him know that it, you know was shortly after Karen passed away. He didn't hear it. And I said, yeah, Karen was only one day in the paper. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was good to see him. Again. Yeah. And I saw Senator Pavlov up there and I asked him about the income tax repeal. He said it ain't going to happen because I'm 
because I asked him where would the revenue come from. He goes, we haven't felt, figured that out yet. So he said that would adversely affect Michigan schools. So it will not happen. Not gonna happen. Okay, there's not much else going on. The road's been taking a real beating from all the rain. So hopefully the weather's going to straighten out so we can keep it smoother. Well, not until I get the limestone. <laughs> get the chloride. And uh, so hopefully better weather will make it. It's really bad. Better road. What? She knew her road was really bad. I feel sorry for this road I noticed. It is dangerous. Go to Meisner Road. You'll wish you were back on Melbourne. Oh, I know. It was starting at today. It's like better for a day. Yeah, it's I mean, no, it's just that, that, that the second car coming oh, in that yep. cloud of dust, yeah. I, that's this, dangerous. Then if you go down to the sucker fest, I went down to the parade, it was pretty no. smaller crowds. Cause it was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was cold, but yeah, the St. Clair County Sheriff Department was there to regulate the fun, oh, make sure everyone had fun, but be safe. And, uh, yeah, I saw that float with a couch on it. I yeah. thought that was just so <laughs> indicative. Yeah, if you've never been to the soccer fest, see their parade, it's interesting. And, um, and then after the, the parade, did they dump that couch on Springborn Road? Because <laughs> 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 you said you, you missed that couch. You missed it. I, I thought they picked it up. It was just that the grader pushed it further off into the ditch <laughs> and then didn't didn't report it on Springborn between Meldrum yep. and yeah it's still there I, I know so. I it's know still there. It's still there. I, I thought it was gone uh, but it's just been pushed further into the ditch by the grader yeah That's Richmond gone. Lennox EMS during the soccer they always have one of their mobile units right there just in oh, case if there's an injury and they have like, yeah but you know like I said it's it's and the sheriff's always there in case someone pisses yeah. on someone's lawn. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. But I noticed one of the neighbors has up there no trespass and has the authority to arrest people. Really? Was, so really? That, was it Skippy? Well, it's right across <laughs> no, the road. No, no, We'd no, like no, to see no, him try. No, it wasn't. Yes, the guy you said, he put a fence up, so he's yeah. good. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah. there's another neighbor I that know. had the sign that I guess he has the authority to arrest me. No, people, people in my father's <laughs> day, uh, the, my father's neighbors always used to say, I'm going to make a citizen's arrest. Mm -hmm. And I always used to think, yeah, you go right ahead. Let's <laughs> see how that turns out. <laughs> so I, I take it some, some of our residents have an enclave where they have police powers, I guess. So. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Or, or, delusions or they have a sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. a sign. Well, yeah. 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 Barney Fife. Yeah, yeah. I have my one bullet. It's right in my pocket. <laughs> okay. Uh, the grant application's in the process, so we'll find out later this summer. Uh, if we're still steering the well, what, what was it they corrected in that application? There was four things they needed. <coughs> now i got to remember. I sent them two, and the other two were uh, Giffel's Webster. But now they're happy. Yeah. Well, it met the requirements. All right. That's great. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of what, the, what they were. I can't remember at this moment. So Not too serious. No, no it was just details. Right. So they... Uh, then they gave us confirmation they had everything they needed to move along, so we'll see what happens. Okay, mm -hmm. nobody has anything, we're up to adjournment. Motion to adjourn. We support. Okay. We've been supported to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Stand adjourned. Aye. Aye. Aye.